Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dani. In today's video, we'll be covering this Mount Olympia question where we'll be solving for x. The first step is to understand if to apply the Lambert W function to solve this question. So, what is the Lambert W function states? So, the first thing is that we need to have some y at the bottom and some y at the top where it's raised by some uh, some a term, right? And the y is, could be anything. It could be x squared, uh, x, or ln x. And once we get into this format, then we only get a singular y where it's equal to some w where k represents the branch number. The branch number will be explained later on in the video. But our first goal, our main goal right now is to try to get into this format. We have some y with an e raised to another y. That's our goal. So basically, we have to try again in this format. And the next step requires us to apply a little trick over here. And the reason why is because this is an equivalent statement that we could rewrite where we get an e from it. So over here we have an e. So basically, we, have to, we get an e from it. So basically, we apply it over here. Then, due to properties, this becomes ln 8 multiplied by square root ln x on the top over here. Right? And now, we can multiply on both sides ln 8 which is equivalent, and now we have something on the top and at the bottom that are the same, and we have some e over here, as you can see over here. So basically our y in this scenario is ln 8, square root ln x. So now we can apply Labyrinth's function. So this goes away, we just have ln 8 square root ln x, and we acquire w uh, uh, 5 multiplied by ln 8 over here. Now we divide ln 8 on both sides, we square both sides of the equation, and we raise it to e, and we acquire this. Now let's explain the graph. So here's the Lambert W functions graph. The first thing is to see over here, our value over here is five lot, uh, five multiplied by lot eight, where it's equal to 10.3972, okay? Now, the first step is to understand the branch numbers. So branch W of zero is this orange line. Uh, branch W of negative one is this green line over here, okay? It, it goes down to the bottom and it goes right next to the, the y-axis, okay? Now, our x is 10.3972, which is this pink line, and the, the asymptote over here is negative 0 0.368, okay? So this blue line is that. Now, we have three cases. So our first case is our value greater than zero. In our scenario, yes, it is. It's 10.39, right? And we're going to have one real solution, and that's in branch W of 0. So as you can see on the graph over here, this orange line is W of 0, and it intersects right over here. Okay? So for case, well, let's say if we had a case 2, if the value was between negative uh, 1 divided by E and between 0, it will be there will be two real solutions. And if none of them are satisfied, then we have only complex solutions. Okay? So in our scenario, we have one real solution on branch W is zero, so we can write, rewrite it like this. And five multiplied by ln eight, we can rewrite it as 1.7036. Uh, and this is given from the graph or from a, calcul uh, from a calculator. Now you solve for this and you acquire an answer of 2.06435. And this is an approximation because the number goes on forever. And that's our answer. For practice, solve for this question over here, x to the power of 5 equals a to the x. And post your answer and solutions in the comment section. The result will be very interesting. So that's it for this video. So please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.